it's time to finally hem up these pajamas. These are the JLE PJ pattern. The um, jean is what it's called. I've got my sewing machine threaded up with a twin needle. It's a uh, 2.5 millimeter distance apart and it's a 7511. I've lengthened my stitch from 2.5 to 3 and I've reduced my tension from 4.6 down to 4. The next step is going to be to determine where we need to sew. We stitch this from the right side and so it's really hard to see and feel where the seam or the hem has come up to. So I flip it over and I put it under my sewing machine presser foot, lining up the fold, which is what I'm going to be following as I sew. I find a line on my throat plate that is easy to follow and that gives me enough distance that my left needle will be sewing on both layers of fabric. And if I use the 5 8 mark here on my throat plate where my fingernail is rubbing, it's going to give me exactly what I'm looking for. So I'm going to turn my fabric over, making sure that I've got good track of all three of my threads. And I'm going to start near a seam. So perhaps I've um, um, deleted or um, disabled my fix. I've got my fold of my fabric along the 5 8 seam line and I'm holding on to both threads. So now straddling the camera, here we go. Let's start stitching. So we're going to go fairly slowly. going to stitch all the way around. Stick with me until I get to a seam. Seams can sometimes cause some problems. We have to go up over a seam and these needles unfortunately are fragile. When I get to a seam, I slow down and I just go really slowly up over the seam allowance. There we go. We're good. More than halfway there. So we're getting close to the beginning where we started. So when I get near that point, I do cut my top threads even with the fabric and then my idea is that I'm going to stitch right over top of my original line of stitching for four or five stitches. So let's go slowly. Here we have another seam so we have to go slow enough that we're not going to hurt anything. So a few stitches forwards. Now I'm going to touch my reverse and go backwards by a few stitches. Cancel my reverse raise my presser foot and cut my threads. We're done. So there's our intersection. I'll take my top threads to the bottom and then uh, fasten them off with a needle. And there's what our bottom or the underside looks like. It looks like a small zigzag stitch. All is well. We're done.